Uh, to talk about the resonance hybrid, uh, you can also justify it as delocalization of pi electrons. When pi electrons can move between more than one bonding position, meaning if you have at least three atoms, that the pi electrons goes back and forth, you have resonancy. Uh, in simple words, you can also describe resonance hybrid as having more than one possible Lewis dot structure for a molecule or an ion. Now what happens if you have resonancy or delocalization of pi electrons? First thing is, is that the bonds will have equal length and strength, something in between, for example, a single and a double. Uh, the second thing that is extremely important is it makes the species extremely stable because of the delocalization. So I, I go after one example. I go after carbonate ion, CO3, 2 minus. When you do Lewis dot structure, one possible structure is this. With lone pairs of electrons, let me put it for oxygen and one oxygen up here. Of course, you put it in a bracket and two minus. Now, this structure is, is not real because the double bond on this oxygen, it can also further travel, for example, and come here. And if that's the case, you will produce another hybrid. We usually show it by a double headed arrow and this carbon will have a double bond to oxygen. This oxygen is a single bond and the last oxygen is also a single bond. Put it in a bracket so this is your second possible Lewis dot structure. Then again this is also not a real uh, structure because the double bond here can travel to this carbon and yielding another possible structure the final possible structure is you have a C double bond O intentionally I'm drawing my double bonds shorter than a single bond to say if that was a real structure we should be able to take a picture of this and see distinction between the bond lengths which we don't 2 minus so you can show all these three possible structures and call it a hybrid resonance so the structure is somewhere in between sometimes we have tendency to show it like this a C attached to oxygen up here two other oxygens your trigonal planar then I'm going to put a dash line to indicate this pi electron is traveling between all the oxygens and make this molecule this species this polyatomic ion very stable I also have minus two charge I'm going to distribute it among each of the oxygens so each oxygen will have a formal charge of minus two third. This is one resonance structure. Now how do we know we have resonance structure? When we take a picture of this x-ray crystallography, we will see all these bonds are exactly identical. Now you have to, uh, well you don't know, but if you go to your data booklet, uh, a C single bond attached to oxygen is about uh, 0.142 nanometers. A C double bond to oxygen is uh, 0.116 nanometer. When we take a measurement of the bonds here, we figure out all these bonds are somewhere between 0.142 and 0.116, which is 0.131 nanometers. So the hybridization was possible to make bonds of equal length and they will also be of equal strength. So you have three bonds that are exactly identical in length and they are between single and double. Now one other thing I like to get into, although it's not required by IB, uh, there in American colleges you will come across a notion known as bond order. Now bond order simply is defined uh, as number of bonds that you have within a locked position. For example, if I have a triple bond for a time, the bond order here, so I call it B dot O dot for bond order, I have three covalent bonds, one, two, three, divided by one position. Position is what's between the, where they are between carbon and carbon. This is one position. So the bond order is three. If you look at a fixed double bond, for example, in ethene, 
and if we are talking about bond order here between carbon and carbon you have two covalent bonds divided by one position that they are localized and locked and bond order is two if you look at for example a molecule like like ethane which has single covalent bond between carbons and if I do the bond order it's simply one covalent bond divided by one position which is one finally the larger the bond order the stronger the bond and the shorter the bond so what I'm going to do is do the bond order for uh, carbonate ion and say you can justify it also for IB IB takes the bond order as well and say this is what you have so if I give you one structure of uh, CO3 to minus then again one structure is not a complete picture it's not real if I try to calculate my bond orders this is what I have I have one bond here two bonds covalent bonds three covalent bonds and then I have one two three position so bond order for this hybrid is four covalent bonds divided by three possible positions which is equal to 1.33 it will say you are stronger than a single bond you are weaker than a double bond so you are in between it will also say you're larger or longer than a single bond and you're shorter than a double bond so if you also do bond order and realize it you have easy time in college you can also justify it for IB I will do one other example of delocalization uh, one that you should know is benzene C6H6 now it took us years to decide what the shape is now this is one of the shapes and you can draw it as one possible resonance structure but then again by itself is not correct so they will have a conjugate double bond a double bond here a single a double a single finally a double each is attached to hydrogen you can show it as one possible structure but then what happens within the molecule is this double bond travels there the pi gets delocalized this comes here this goes there and it will give you the other possible resonance which you can show it like carbon this is a double bond single bond carbon the double bond comes here that's delocalization of pi electron single and then finally you have your final double which has a hydrogen now what we usually do and you have to get used to it for sake of organic chemistry we usually show it as a hexagon like this and we put a circle inside indicating delocalization of pi electrons now they make this molecule extremely stable and it's a planar molecule uh, you should remember now hybridization of each carbon here is one two three attachment they are sp2 so it's three going up planar going in that fashion i also want to calculate bond order for a species like this and to say this is a hybrid of resonance now let's see how we are going to calculate let's see number of uh, covalent bonds locked in places one two three four five six seven eight nine so I have nine covalent bonds how many positions do I have one two three four five six divided by six so you get three divided by two bond order is 1.5 meaning the bond lengths and bond strengths are between single and double bonds so this is resonance hybrid makes the molecule extremely stable makes all bonds of equal length equal strength there are many other examples uh, ozone is another example when you do you can draw it like this it's a bent molecule you can also draw the other resonance and say this pi electron here gets delocalized it's not locked in place and you will form double bond this side single bond there and we put our lone pairs of electrons so this is delocalization and it's really the pi electrons that are traveling between the three atoms of oxygen 
it makes this molecule extremely stable.